Howdy folks, BC here, you're watching Deuce and Guns, and today we're going to talk about how to prep a brand new bullet mold for its first use, and how to maintain them. Now this video will be focusing on the Lee Precision Made mold, which is basically a block of aluminum with the shape of the bullet you want to cast milled into it. Now there are several other companies that make bullet molds, and they're all fantastic, they're all made very, very well. Uh, Lee makes them out of aluminum, and I like the aluminum molds better than the steel molds because the aluminum cycles heat in and out very quickly which means you can cast and then the bullet solidify much quicker than in a steel mold so your production is much much faster the mold may not be as resilient to abuse and to uh, rough use but I have tens of thousands of bullets through some of these molds and they are still holding up just fine so if you take care of them the aluminum bullet mold will take care of itself now lean molds pretty much come from the factory ready to go except for two issues number one is you need to do something called smoking the mold and basically that's a process where you use matches and put a small layer of carbon on the inside of the mold and what that does that basically makes the inside non-stick and unless the bullets fall out very quickly and easily I have one here, yes, here we go. This is an 8mm mold. I've not gotten around to using it yet. I've had it for years. It's even the older Lee style. I'll show you the differences later. But you can see right there, that has not been smoked yet. I've not used it yet. And this is my 300 Blackout mold, which I've used extensively. And you can see the bullets will drop out of there very easily, very quickly. This, I would have to hit that little nut or that bolt right there to get them to release. It would not be a fun molding process. And the second thing you need to do is lubricate your mold. Now there are very specific little tiny spots you need to lubricate it. The one place you do not want to get anything, especially any kind of lube in it, is the actual bullet cavity itself. Those little cavities need to be devoid of anything but the smoking process, the carbon from the smoking process. Everything else would actually affect the bullet fill out. So you don't want to do that. You just want to put it in very specific small spaces. I'll show you that here in a little bit. So what do you lube it with? Well, there's two things that I've always used. Number one, this is actually some bullet lube, cast bullet lube here, and it's actually just beeswax. Here we go, you get a little up close personal there. It's beeswax, and you can use beeswax candle or whatever. Any kind of old beeswax will do. Um, I've heard people use normal wax as well, you know, like a paraffin or whatever. It really doesn't matter, I don't think, but the beeswax is something that actually is called for by uh, Lee. Also very popular and something I've always used is synthetic two-stroke engine oil. Alrighty folks, I brought you up close personal to the Lee bullet molds and the bench here. And let's take a look at the, the older Lee molds here, the old two bullet mold here. You got two bullet molds and back in the day you had a aluminum locator bar and pin, as pin still, and that would engage in a divot made for the aluminum bar in the aluminum and a, an aluminum place right there dug out to accept the steel pin and that worked fine but they did wear out eventually and Lee has improved that now using a steel pin and locator system that lines everything up very very nicely and is much more robust they've also made it a little lighter there you can see they mill out a lot more aluminum on the sides than they used to if you really want to produce a lot of bullets at once you're going to want to get a six bullet mold from Lee. Now these, they only offer these in their most most popular brands and most popular calibers and weights and styles. But if you shoot nine millimeter or 40 or 45 or 38 or something of that nature, you will be able to find a six bullet mold and produce bullets like gangbusters. And this thing, this is my nine millimeter mold. It has really survived quite a bit of use there and it's still going strong. Okay, to smoke a mold, all you need to do is open it up. This is already pre-smoked, but I could use another smoking here. And just grab your matches. You're going to want to grab a couple of matches here, two, three, whatever. There we go. And you're basically just going to smoke them up. See all the, all the smoke there? And there is a newly smoked side of the mold there. You can see it's a very nice, even distribution of carbon on there, basically making the mold non-stick. And go ahead and compare that with the older side that's not been, it has been, been smoked, but not recently. And you can see it's starting to wear away and is not nearly as even as the other side. And now in order to actually lube up your bullet molds here, go ahead and start off with the synthetic. We'll demonstrate that first. Just take one of these matches that you have already burned up. So you want to lube the hinge, just a bit of drop there. 
get some more and then put a drop behind the hinge on the sprue plate. Now some people like to put a little bit on top here and that's fine as long as you don't get it inside the bullet cavity. If you want a little bit of lube to help the sliding of the sprue plate, more power to you. But just be aware that you might get into the actual bullet cavity and cause havoc with your first couple of bullets being molded. Now you also want to lube up the pin, the actual hinge on the handle itself because these actual mold halves are they're loose and they're loose for a reason so then the actual two halves of the mold will locate each other automatically with very little resistance. So they have to be loose in order to do that so you need to go ahead and lube up both those hinging points as well. And that is it for the two bullet mold. The six bullet mold same idea, same idea. Basically you want to take care of all the hinge points. Now if you look closely you'll see that I actually have used anti-seize on here before and it worked fine. It did, it did a job just like it should have but the two-stroke engine oil worked better and you put some here, some right there, some on this little hinge pin right here for the sprue cutter. You want to put some here and again on the actual hinge right there, the actual connection point between the handle and the mold because again these are also loose on purpose. And you'll also do the locator pins inside as well. So you can put a little loop there on the locator pin, same thing back here. And on the two bullet mold you also want to put a little bit of loop on the locator pins as well on the inside. And if you want to use the beeswax instead of the synthetic uh, engine oil then you'll have to get the mold at operating temperature. So you'll dip it in the lead, let it heat up, and then you'll just touch your beeswax to the areas, the same areas that you lube with the two-stroke engine oil, you'll just touch with the actual wax and the wax will liquefy and basically be drawn into the tight areas that need to be lubed up anyway. So it's actually a very, very good system. You just have to heat the molds up first. Well guys, I've got a whole bunch of 300 blackout bulls to cast. I'll be making a video of that soon. And uh, when I get that uploaded, I'll put that video link at the end of this video. And you can see that and see the progression of me getting my mold ready to go, and then molding a probably 10 pounds worth of 300 blackout bullets. Well, guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and go ahead and subscribe because a lot more is on the way. And if you have any comments, questions, or show ideas, go ahead and leave that in the comment box below the video. And, of course, you guys have a great day. See ya.